Good evening, church. Good evening, church. We're getting ready to start our devotion for this evening. Thank God for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We're here to celebrate and praise his name. For God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Start a devotion. Woke up this morning with my mind stand on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stand on Jesus. Woke up this morning with my mind stand on Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Talking with my mind, stand on Jesus. Walking and talking with my mind, stand on Jesus. Walking and talking with my mind. attention to Psalms 121. All that's able to stand, would you please stand? All that's able to. Psalms 121 reads, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy feet to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and ever, forevermore. The Lord is a blessing for the reader, hears and endures of his word. Amen. I heard the voice of Jesus saying, I, I heard the Oh. Uh. 
Lie down the weary red one, lie down, lie down. Father, it's again that we have come to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, first of all, for life. Thank you for health. Thank you for a reasonable portion of strength. Thank you for waking us up this morning and bringing us through another day. A day filled with struggles, danger, uncertainty. But we made it. And it was all because of your grace. We thank you, Lord, for this service, celebration of this young man that you have placed over this flock. We ask, Lord, that you will continue to bless him, continue to keep him, that he may educate and preach to your people so that they can live a life of prosperity, not just financial prosperity, but a prosperity of hope prosperity of grace and mercy. We thank you, Lord, for another day's journey. For when we woke up this morning, we didn't know we would be here tonight, but you kept us safe thus far. We ask, Lord, that you would bless the one that's going to bring your word. Somebody, somebody might be touched and come saying, what must I do to be saved? Because it is through the preaching of the word that salvation will reign. And one day, one of these old days, we can all be called home, a home that is prepared by you. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I live.
Come on, Adrian. Play a little bit more for us. Come on. Give me some time. Come on, put your hands together. God be the glory for all that he has done. I am so glad to be in what I consider my safe space, New Revelation Missionary Baptist Church. I am your worship leader for the evening, Kwanjalyn Norman. They put my whole name in that, in that thing, but I, I just go by Kwan. And uh, it is such a privilege and an honor to stand before you all today as your worship leader um, for such a momentous occasion as celebrating our pastor's eighth annual anniversary and his 18th pastoral anniversary. We have been so blessed by him. Um, now we will have the entrance of our great pastor, escorted by Miss Brielle English. Please stand. All right, give him a hand. All right, that was a wonderful processional. Thank you, Brielle. Um, before I uh, turn it over to the welcome, I just wanted to say that I am just elated and grateful to be a part of this New Revelation Church family. Um, Pastor Turner has been such a leader, um, such a friend, and just such a great pastor in my life. Um, he thought I would be great to help lead these children and um so far so good uh thank you pastor and then he put me back there in the isolation room um <laughs> where i hardly ever get a chance to really experience service but um i'm really grateful for the opportunity to serve him on that level as well thank you again now we will have our welcome by sister lauren mitchell Welcome to our church, where the joy of the Lord lives in this place, and his warmth and kindness radiates on each face. Welcome to our church, where our pastor clearly explains God's holy word, which reaches beyond the four walls, because we the members carry that word to share with every person we meet, not just some, but all. Welcome to our church. We are so glad that you are here and we pray that you will leave this service with great joy knowing that the Lord has met us here today. Welcome to New Revelation Missionary Baptist Church. Thank you, Lauren, for that beautiful welcome. Next, we will have our congregational song, Blessed Quietness. Enjoy. 
joys are flowing like a river since the comforter has come and he abides with us forever makes the trusting heart now come on let's clap our hands everybody and say blessed quietness holy quiet what a sure in my soul on the stormy sea jesus speaks to me let's go to the beginning joys are flowing like a river since the calm and he abides with us forever makes the trust now come on lift your voice new revelation and say blessed quiet man holy what assurance On the stormy sea, how the big low seas. Come on, just one last time. Blessed quiet. What assurance. On the stormy sea. How the billows, how the billows cease to roll. I don't know about you all, but I'm so glad that Pastor Turner keeps those congregational songs in the church. <clears throat> Next, we will have My Pastor by Sister Laquanye Wallace. My pastor, I'm going My pastor, I'm going to make this short and sweet because I am a little nervous. For me, the best way to describe my pastor is that, number one, he is a man of God, and I am a witness of that through his praying and teaching. Number two, I am, he's a reachable pastor, and what I mean by that is if I had a problem or a situation that I needed to talk to him about, I would feel comfortable in doing so, and that's important for a teenager like me. Number three, is also funny and kind. <laughs> I would have to say that at times in my life it has been rough, but I am convinced that God truly knew what he was doing when he placed me in my mom's life. Because you see in her house, you are going to church, period. <laughs> I thank God for putting me in her life and in turn me having the chance to be connected to an amazing pastor that has taught me about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, Pastor Turner, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being an awesome pastor that you are. Happy eighth year, Pastor Anniversary. And I pray that God bless you with many, many more. Thank you, Laquanye. That was beautiful. That was really beautiful. Um, next, we'll have another My Pastor by Sister Jalen Ward. Good evening, everyone. Okay. It is a privilege to have the opportunity to speak on what My Pastor means to me. 
Pastor Turner has continuously demonstrated a servant's heart, full of grace and a zeal for the gospel. Week after week, he feeds us the word. He excels in administration and has been a great mentor to me. I could spend hours and hours telling you about how much Pastor Turner means to me, but I'll spare you some time and try to sum it up in a few words. Pastor Turner has been unwavering in his commitment to God's word and to teaching us his truth with passion, conviction, and a pure love. As a young adult, I can appreciate his down-to-earth teachings as they have widened and expanded my knowledge of God. And because he preaches with examples of his own life experiences, it makes the world real for me. I am encouraged because if my pastor didn't let the day make the difference in him, neither will I. I will continue to make the difference in the day. Why? Simple. Because my pastor said so. And I trust the worthy word that he has to give. As I continue to learn and grow under his leadership, I pray that God keeps him, keeps him safe, refreshed, and full of the word. I thank God for approving him to be my pastor. Happy anniversary, pastor. I love you. Thank you, Jalen. That was also awesome. I believe that if the youth say it, it must be true. As my, my child don't spare me in the truth area. She will tell me in a minute when something's wrong. So next we will have a selection by our NRNBC music ministry, our youth and young adults. Thank <laughs> you. 
got one more. I'm sorry. How many of us know that the Lord, that we owe it all to the Lord? How many of us know that we deserve him all the praise? I know this will pass anniversary, but God still deserves the praise to it all. So come on and praise with us on this
Y'all come back and say, I owe it all. Everybody say, come on, say, I owe it all. out that room too often because I'm so glad to be out and enjoying the worship today. Thank you, praise team, for that beautiful song. Well, I believe that that's my time, and I really have enjoyed being your worship leader today. Thank you for allowing me. I've had, I'll turn it over to the pulpit. 
Maybe you didn't know that song, but say, I surrender all. Come on, whole church says, say, I surrender all. Come on, lift your hands if you don't mind and say, all to thee, my blessed say. We're trying to move on, but somebody wants to give it all to him now. Say, I, I surrender all. Everything I have is yours. I surrender all. Not part, not some, but all to thee, my all to thee. We're going to move and say this. My life is not my own. To you I belong. So I give myself. I give myself. I give myself, I give myself to you, Lord. Come on, just one last time and we're moving. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you I belong. To you I give me long. So I give myself. I give myself. I give myself. I give myself to you. Last time everybody say my life is not. My life is not my own. To you I give all I give myself, I give myself to you. Praise the Lord. Come on and give God some praise. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. There is nobody like the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, oh God. Lord, I love you today, God. Father, I praise you, oh God. God, I give you glory. God, I give you the praise, God. God, I give you the honor, oh God. God, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all you've done for me, oh God, you didn't have to do it, oh God, but you did. Lord, I love you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, I love you, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you, Lord, I love you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wasn't these young people beautiful? Wasn't they beautiful tonight? Come on and praise God, hallelujah, for these young people. If you can't stand to your feet, they could be in jail. They could be anywhere but in the house of God tonight on a weekday. Come on and praise God for these young people. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, oh God, I thank you. Amen. Thank you for the future church. Amen. It's happening right before our eyes. Amen. At this time, amen, we can all participate. It's offering time. It's offering time. It's time to give. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah. Come on and praise God. Because God blesses a cheerful, a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. New revelation. Amen. You have been asked, amen, on what to do. Amen. You know what you're supposed to do. Glory to God. Pastor Reed. Amen. You want to direct your people. Amen. Come on and praise God for Pastor Reed, please. Let the church say amen. Amen. This is this is a happy time. Um, New Mount Moriah, wherever you are, I uh, want you to see Deacon Carr. Uh, Deacon Carr, you're going to be able to count all this money we're going to give? See Deacon Carr and Deacon Porter. Uh, and uh, by the way, if 
if you are not a member of New Revelation, you are a member of New Mount Moriah during the offering. Praise God. At this time, amen, we're going to ask the young people choir to come down, amen, and we're going to have the uh, New Mount Moriah choir come up. Amen. Would you all stand, amen, and follow the leading of the urchers? I will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord, bless the Lord at all times, bless the Lord at all times, bless the Lord at all times, bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that's within me, bless his name. I will bless the Lord, bless the Lord at all time. I will bless the Lord, bless the Lord at all time. Bless the Lord on Wednesday, bless the Lord on Thursday, bless the Lord on Friday, bless the Lord on Saturday, bless the Lord on Sunday, bless the Lord at all times. New Revelation, I want you to put in a basket here to your right. Bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his name. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his name. Amen. You all look beautiful in your African attire. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all. That's within me, bless the name. Bless the Lord. Bless, bless the Lord. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord at all times. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Come on and thank God for these ushers. Come on and thank God for them. Come on. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord at all times. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you for this offering we received. We pray, God, for those, oh, Father God, that gave. We even pray for those that didn't have it. Father, we pray, God, that you will multiply, oh, God. 
Multiply the blessing, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank you for doing it. Amen. Good evening. I have the pleasure um, and the honor of introducing the wonderful speaker for the evening. Reverend Dr. W. N. Reed was born in Bronzeville, Tennessee, January 2nd, 1938. <laughs> so that's what they have. Um, Sorry. He has a beautiful wife, Rosetta, two sons, Jose and Reverend Carlos. Dr. W. M. Reed graduated from Carver High School in Haywood County um, in Bronzeville, Tennessee. He's also um, a veteran from the United States Army and received the honorable discharge. Thank you for your service. Reverend Reed accepted the call to ministry in 1962. In 1963, he was ordained at the Woodlawn Baptist Church in Bronzeville, Tennessee, under the pastorate of Reverend W. R. McClendon. Reverend Reed has pastored many churches, presently pastoring and serving New Mount Moriah, um, located New Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church, forgive me, to present. In 1973, Reverend Reed was sent by God to New Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church. During his 39 years at New Mount Moriah, the membership has continued to mature spiritually and grow numerically as well as financially. In 1998, the church was remodeled and administration, uh, education wing and fellowship hall was built. The church has received, I'm sorry, the church has an active Sunday school and numerous ministries that work to build God's kingdom. Reverend Reed is a humble servant of God, a preacher of the gospel, a teacher of the Lord's word, and a leader of God's people, and one who fulfills. Ephesians 4.13, walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. The next speaking voice you will hear this evening is that of Reverend Dr. W. N. Reed. Thank you after the choir sing.
To see 
see what the end is going to be. To see what the end is going to be. To see what the end is going to be. Another glorious opportunity. Thank our choir. Let me let me do this first. Uh, congratulations to our honoree. Uh, Pastor Edward C. Turner. And uh, I want to also now thank uh, New Mount Moriah, those who are present, our choir, our ushers, nurse, representation from all of the all of the uh, New Mount Moriah family. Some of our boosters are here. Those ladies with those strange-looking flowers on. Uh, appreciate all of you and I thank you for the invitation uh, <clears throat> during the presentation uh, I know you heard that I was born in 1938 <clears throat> now some of you have forgotten how to count that far back but uh, I'm thankful to still be here. Um, uh, most of you know, or many of you know, my wife, Sister Rosetta. And, uh, and two sons that are here, Reverend Carlos back there now with the camera, and, and Deacon Jose doing the directing. Uh, our choir members and a smattering of the male chorus joined in to help make up our choir for tonight. Thank them. Um, it's a blessing to be invited, a blessing to be invited. Um, I received your invitation and uh, the theme of pastor approved by God. Uh, before the celebration is over, I'm sure somebody is going to preach this theme. I have another one. I have another one that I would like to share with you and and uh, uh, get you out. Uh, I know some of our want to want to congratulate the young people too. taking time out to come and worship and and to thank their their pastor um, in in second Timothy the fourth chapter and uh, beginning with verse one second Timothy fourth chapter beginning with verse one I charge thee therefore before God 
and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. I, I want to talk about the preacher's divine mandate. The preacher's divine mandate. Father text, the more aware I become okay. of its immensity and extensive inclusiveness. In other words, this subject, though true as it is, contains such an inexhaustible number of ideas until I wondered about my ability to give it justice within the allotted time and within this setting. The theme, the subject, the preacher's divine mandate. It encompasses some Power packed words. And the text from which it is taken doesn't offer any relief. Divine mandate preacher. What is a mandate? Mandate is a command. In fact, it is a formal order from a superior court or official. Right. And what about divine? What does divine mean? Divine is the nature or essence of God. Divine is proceeding directly from God. So what do we have in this subject? We have a direct order to the preacher from God himself. 
Now, I, I know you wouldn't question this statement, but should you repeat it to some of your friends, they, will, they may jump on you with both feet. So to keep you from being offended and hurt, let me give you a couple of supporting scriptures to lean on. In Jeremiah, first chapter, fifth verse, seven and eight verse, is recorded, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee. To deliver thee, said the Lord. Uh, and if that doesn't satisfy them, go to John 15. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Sometime we get it mixed up. We think we, think we call the pastor. Yeah, yeah. We choose the pastor. God says it's not so. Uh, we don't choose. He, he chooses us. And it goes on to say in John 15, and ordain you that you shall go and bring forth fruit. Yes, the preacher is mandated, even commanded by Jesus to go, to speak, and to act on Christ's behalf. Well, what is a preacher's text comprised of? It reminds me of a story I heard some time ago. A preacher was called to the church and accepted his pastor and he's preached first Sunday, second Sunday, third Sunday. He preached the same subject and text. And then on the fourth Sunday, he preached it again. And, and so some of the members went to the Deacons, you know, the deacons are the mouthpiece. So go, 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 go and ask the pastor if he know another. And so they, they, they went to him and said, well, pastor, some of the people, some of the members <clears throat> kind of taking note that you preaching the same sermon. You preached it for four Sundays in a row. And they kind of want to know when you're going to preach another subject. He said, Brother Deacon, I'm glad they are inquiring. So you go back and tell them when they do what I preached, I change subjects. <laughs> the preacher in the scriptural text, the writer Paul lists several things that let's Let's uh, look at them. All right. <clears throat> Number one, he's to preach the word. All right. All right. <clears throat> yes, sir. Number two, he's to reprove. Yeah. Number three, he's to rebuke. Well, well. And number four, to exalt. Now, without minimizing the first one, which is preach the word, Allow me to talk about the others. Paul says the preacher is authorized to rebuke. And when I saw this, I, I, I went to the dictionary, and some of you will have to explain to the young folk what a dictionary is. <laughs> I, I went to the dictionary to see 
if I had a clear understanding of the definition of rebuke. And sure enough, there it was right there in the dictionary. To rebuke means to criticize sharply. To censor severely and or to reprimand. So, so when you do wrong and the pastor tells you that you are doing wrong, before you start questioning his authority by saying, he can't talk to me like that. <laughs> Who does he think he is? Uh, I, I, I don't have to be talked to that way. <clears throat> Send them to Second Timothy 4 <laughs> and 2 and have them define rebuke. All right. <clears throat> Paul says <clears throat> the preacher must also reprove. Now, to reprove means to call attention to remissions and to do it in a kindly or gentle manner. We heard some examples of that in the beginning of the service, how some of the young people talk about the pastor and how he always has a listening ear. It, it, it means... It means also that some acts are not malicious. Some things people do are not blatantly evil. Sometimes their aims are good, but their acts are bad. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> Jesus had to reprove his disciples on, such, on one such occasion. Is found in the ninth chapter of Mark. Right. John said to Jesus, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. And he followeth not us. In other words, he's not in our church. And, and, and we forbade him. That means that we stopped him. Because he followeth not us. But Jesus said, forbid him not. For he that is not against us is on our side. So, so the preacher must both rebuke and reprove. But Paul says the preacher must also exhort. Now, among the definitions of the word exhort are the following. To exhort means to advise, to warn, to appeal to, to urge. Those are a few meanings of exhortation and to exhort. I, I wanted to emphasize this word last because the word exhort, though it does not define, it does encompasses the first phrase which is preach the word right. if this was another setting I would go deeper into it but uh, let me kind of find out if I can <clears throat> what I think Paul is saying to Timothy I think this writing to Timothy that Paul sends is kind of a fatherly letter to Timothy. Paul says to Timothy, I, I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Timothy, this assignment is not to be taken lightly. Timothy, this is more than a, a job. It's more than a vocation. 
Timothy, what you are involved in is more than a money-making sideline. Timothy, this is the Lord's work. So I charge you before him to preach the word. Preach the word. And if you will permit me to use my spiritual imagination, when, when Paul wrote preach the word, he, he paused a few minutes and looked at what he had written and then Paul thought to himself, I I'd better expand on this phrase a little more. All right. So Paul began to write some more. Yes. I, I believe he was thinking, how can I impress upon Timothy the importance of his task? Perhaps he thought, Timothy, Here's what I mean by preach the word. You've got to reprove some and you've got to rebuke some. And then Timothy, you've got to exhort all with long suffering and doctrine. Preach the word. Preach means to advise. Preach the word. It means to warn. Preach the word means to appeal. Preach the word means to advise. If I were you, I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't act that way. I wouldn't go in that direction. It, it, it means it means also to appeal if you don't have Christ in your life you ought to accept him right now now is the acceptable time it means to appeal preach the word means persuade I don't know if you Aware of it, but tomorrow is not promised to you. You don't have him on your side. Tomorrow may be everlasting too late. If you don't believe it, ask that rich farmer who thought that he had eons of time to live and so. He looked at his crop and said, I'm going to build me some bigger barns. And I'm going to gather in all of my grain. And I'm going to say to my soul, soul, take it easy. Be at rest. But before he could finish his thinking, there was an interruption. The interruption was, I have a message for you. This night, thy soul is required. You got to persuade them to come while they have a chance. Persuade them by telling them that good old story the gospel, the good news uh, that there was a man by the name of Jesus uh, who came down through 42 generations uh, that he was uh, nobody in some folk eyes but he was God in the flesh. Persuade them that he came not for himself, but he came for the lost. Remind them that all born of a woman are born lost. And tell them if they want to be found, 
Now, don't call 911 if they want to be found. Now, but they must call on the name of the Lord and tell him, I yield unto thee. Persuade them. Uh, tell them uh, they need him, uh, whether they know it or not. Uh, tell them, uh, yeah, uh, they still have time uh, and they have an opportunity, uh, but they don't know how much they got. Uh, and uh, you persuade them. Uh, I keep on telling them uh, about the good uh, the man Jesus did went around uh, healing the sick uh, opening blind eyes uh, tell uh, he fed hungry folk uh, tell uh, you tell them uh, yeah uh, he even uh, raised a few dead folk, uh, but people didn't like him. Uh, and because they didn't like him, uh, they plotted to destroy him. Uh, and he told them, uh, you can't uh, really destroy me. Uh, you can't take my life, uh, but because I love you, uh, I'm going to lay it down. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to pick it up again. Uh, tell them uh, you got to persuade them. Uh, this world uh, is not going to last forever. Uh, but you tell them, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus uh, has a guarantee, uh, a promise he made uh, more than 2,000. Uh, years ago uh, he said uh, come unto me if you're heavy laden uh, I'll give you rest uh, he told him, uh, yeah uh, if you take me uh, though you were dead uh, you will live again <laughs> tell them tell them uh, persuade them uh, Jesus uh, is waiting outstretched arm uh, tell them uh, yeah uh, if they go to him uh, or come to him uh, he'll say uh, to the utmost uh, and tell them how he did it uh, one Friday uh, he was nailed to a cross uh, out on Calvary, uh, he died uh, from the sixth to the ninth hour. Uh, he died, uh, the sun stopped shining. He died, uh, the moon ran down in blood. He died, uh, the earth lost her balance. Uh, he died, uh, oh, he died, uh, and they buried him. Uh, all night, uh, Friday night, uh, and all day Saturday, uh, and all night, uh, Saturday night, uh, he was in the grave. Uh, but early, 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 Sunday morning, uh, he got up. Uh, all power, uh, all power, all power. All power. If you're not part of the Lord's church, you got a chance right now. Uh, Oh, wow. The door of the church is open. 
If you're here and you don't have a church home, you ought to come right now. Mm, I know the Lord will make a way. Yes, he will. Oh, yeah. I know the Lord will make a way. Doors open. Yes, he will. Oh, yeah. oh, he'll make a way for you. Now will safely through. I know the Lord. Make a way. Yes, He will. Oh, I have a Savior. I can tell all of my, every one of my troubles. Oh, yeah. oh when I did birth, and I don't know what to do. Oh, 
everybody but you. Step in on time. I know the law. Make a way. Oh, he will. Oh, yes, he will. I know he will. Let's thank God for our preacher. Let's thank God for our preacher. Amen. Amen to New Mount Moriah. Let's thank God for them. Amen. To you, New Revelation, thank you all for coming out. I know several of our members tell us that they can't drive in the dark. Amen. But I'm glad that y'all drove in the dark. <laughs> Some of us have been living our life in the dark, but we can't drive. A amen. <laughs> You made it through the dug. Amen. So I'm glad you all came out on here tonight. Amen. To help celebrate. You know, the, 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 the older I get and the more mature I get, I appreciate every time I come in worship. I don't care if it's on a Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Amen. I know you're tired. Some of you had a long day, but some of you are retired. Amen, somebody. <laughs> You ought to have some energy. Amen. And so we are grateful for this opportunity to share on today. Thank God for everyone that played a part on this program. Give Sister Kwan a hand for being our worship leader. Amen. I cannot. I cannot. Amen. Thank God for New Mount Mariah doing a good job raising her. Amen. You can't. You got to give credit where credit is due. Amen. Juan grew up in New Mount Moriah. Amen. And Pastor Reed, amen. And thank God that she came back home and she wanted to fellowship with us. And guess what? And we still can fellowship without being angry about it. Amen. So thank y'all for raising her up. Amen. Amen. Sister Brielle, thank you. Brie, where Brie at? Amen. My escort, give her a hand. Lauren, thank you for that. Welcome. God bless you all. Uh, thank God for Laquanye. Uh, thank you for that. my pastor, Jalen. Thank you so much. Our young people, praise choir. Minister Aaron, thank you for that welcome. Amen. Thank God for all of our preachers. Minister Allen, thank you for sharing in the offering. Our minister in training, Alandra. I don't want to forget nobody because people get mad at you. Amen. New Mount Mariah, thank you so much for sharing with us and the New Revelation family to the media team back there. Thank you, Deacon Ken. For stepping in. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Brenda and all of those, our ushers, our deacons that are here, our nurses and everybody. Thanks to our musicians. Thank you. Brother Adrian. Amen. Thank you, Brother Curtis. Brother Eric was here, but 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 Kayshawn fills in. Amen. And we're just grateful for this fellowship. Our young people were great. I'm grateful for this, this worship. I never want to forget people like Dr. Reed. That's why I never take him off the program. Amen. People like him paved the way. 
He probably had been pastoring 20 years before I born. Amen. So I never want to forget people that I highly respect. You got to have somebody in your life that you respect. Somebody that you can pull from. Amen. So thank you, Pastor Reed, for uh, keep on coming. Amen. As long as you want to come. Amen. He always say he's going to outlive all of us anyway, so <laughs> he'll still be coming when we go. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm so grateful for all of you for sharing here on today. This has been a grand time. You all, I see this young man. He's going to be with us on Sunday morning. Stand up, dear Earl Henderson. This young man going to preach for us on Sunday morning. You all, he's a associate minister at uh, Pastor Chet Johnson and uh, New Tabernacle. And I'm just so grateful. Amen. I'm proud of this young man. Amen. I always, Pastor Reed, think about Pastor Wilford. When I was an associate minister, I remember he would invite me over to close out his anniversary. And I never want to forget when people gave me a chance because they believed in me. So I like to pay it forward. Amen. This young man, I'm proud of what he's doing. And I asked what he's growing. Y'all going to really enjoy him. Amen. God has blessed him. So give him another hand. Amen. He'll be with us. Oh, I see you. Thank you, Doctor. I see you. Thank you, Dr. Jone. That's who I forgot. Amen. Dr. Jone, one of our other preachers. Give him a hand over there. Amen. I'm telling you, I can look over the audience and I see you, but sometimes I don't. Anybody? Uh, these are all the women we have. The men not here, so amen. Thank them. Thank them. Good to have some women on your side. Amen. They'll show up and support you. So I'm grateful you all. We have one more day of celebration. Sunday is the first Sunday. Amen. In March. And thank you, Pastor Reed, for reminding me about the commission that God gave me uh, this year to be 25 years that I would be preaching the gospel in November, the first Sunday in November. It'd be 25 years that I got that commission. And this is my 18th year pastoring totally and my eighth year here at new revelation and i'm glad about it amen you all keep praying for me and i'll pray for you thank you all once again i appreciate each and every one of you for sharing we'll put you back in the hands of our preacher pastor for the evening give him another hand pastor reed amen thank god for each of you thank all of you for coming and sharing and congratulations again to Pastor Pastor Turner, I intended to mention the devotional leader. Uh, her grandmother, you couldn't get her to say a word, but she'd sing. And you can't get Quanjita to sing, but she'll talk. <laughs> All of us have something to do. Amen. We we pray that 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 Sunday will be a, another glorious day, and and uh, and uh, that you. I hope you have many more, and I plan to come to each one of you. Our Father, we thank you for this occasion. We thank you for this servant that you've placed here we thank you for the followers who have come and who are supporting thank you for all who came today to say go ahead as we prepare to go now we need your protection we need your direction we thank you for your love your mercy and your grace now may the love of god our father the grace of jesus christ our brother the communion of the holy spirit our comforter teacher and guide rest rule and abide with us until we shall all meet together again and all the people of God responded by saying amen amen, amen.